Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to get Slack notifications for new issues in Jira. So imagine this, you are a team leader and you are using Jira to create issues. So once you have created an issue, you want to notify your team members on Slack so that they can sort out this issue. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of this issue from Jira, sort it out and compose a message. Send it manually on Slack. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new issue is created in Jira, it will automatically send a notification on Slack. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Jira and Slack. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my Jira software dashboard and here I'm going to create a new issue. Okay, so the idea is that once the issue is created in Jira software, it will be reflected as a message in Slack. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new issue. The name of the issue is uh, C++ programming error. Just a random thing that's popping in my head. That's all uh, C++ programming error. And the description is the for loop, the for loop doesn't have brackets. Okay, the for loop doesn't have brackets. This is the summary. So let me just click on create. Okay, so a new issue called as C++ programming error has been created. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take you to Slack and I'm going to show you the message. New issue created in Jira, C++ programming error, the for loop doesn't have brackets. So basically, this is the whole gist of the process. Once an issue is created in Jira, it will be reflected as a message in Slack. So to begin the actual integration process, first type pabli.com in your browser, pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Jira and Slack. So this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, we will click on create workflow to create a new workflow. Now, before I start creating a new workflow, there is something I have to do. For example, let me show you the old workflow that I have created. So this is the name of the old workflow that is a Jira integration with this help of with the help of this workflow. This, these two, the data was flowing between Jira and Slack. Now I'm going to switch off this workflow by toggling this to the right, to the left. Okay. So the reason I'm switching this off is because since we are going to create a new workflow, it will create the duplication of results. So basically there will be two workflows giving double results. So to avoid that, I have uh, switched off this workflow. It is actually none of your concern. Uh, let me just uh, start from scratch by creating a new workflow. Okay, so the name of the workflow is uh, Jira to Slack. Jira to Slack and let me just click on create. Now, of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. And uh, so when you click on uh, save, a window appears in front of you. This window is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Jira because we want to send the data from Jira. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, if you want to replicate or uh, clone this workflow, the link of this workflow is available in the description box. Now, in the trigger event, how about we make it as new issue? New issue is a trigger event. There are many more trigger events like issue updated, new comment, sprint cleaned, sprint started, sprint closed. All of them are a bunch of trigger events. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabri.com to custom build a trigger event for you but at present i just want to send the data when a new issue is made in jira so basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate jira to public link so let me just click on connect with jira software in the new credentials we have to enter the email as well as the token so to get the email as well as the api token uh, let me just uh, take you to uh, jira so first of all i'm let me just enter the email so this is the same email with which you have registered in my case it's uh, admin at the rate pabri.com and the api token so to get the api token let me just uh, click on the profile and here you will find the option called as account settings. Click this. Okay, so let it load. Give it one or two second. Okay, so here. Okay, I'm sorry. I refreshed it. Uh, here you will find the option called as security. Click this. 
So here there is a section called as API token. So bring your attention here and just click on create and manage API token. So as you can see, these are the series of API tokens that I have created. Now for your consideration, we are going to create a new token. So let me just click on create API token. Now, since we are interested in integrating it with the Slack, I'm giving the token name as Slack. Now, of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's none of my concern. Let me just click on create. Okay, so this is my new API token. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And I'm going to paste it here. So the new token has been generated. We have pasted the token. We have also entered the email ID. And let me just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. So the idea is that once the issue is created in a particular domain of Jira, the data should be sent to public connect. So let us first mention the domain. So basically, this is your domain. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. So this is my domain. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So now we have to give a name to this webhook URL. So the name I'm going to give it as something random like ABC. Okay. Just a random name. Now coming to the most important part, the JQF filter. So basically it is asking from which project the data when an issue is made in Jira, it should be sent. So let me just uh, take you to my project. So as you can see, these are all the projects I have. Now I want to send the data from this particular project that is bug tracking. So I have opened it and I'm just going to copy the name of the project. Okay, you can of course uh, type it manually. And I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, now there is something else you have to do. So as you can see, it is showing project is equal to uh, system admin. I'm just going to copy this up to here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this will ensure that uh, whenever a new issue is made in this particular project called as bug tracking, the data will be sent. So basically, we are going to integrate with this particular project in Jira. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so this is the API response. It is showing that we have successfully integrated with uh, this particular project that is bug tracking. Now, well, basically, it means that whenever an issue is created in this particular project in Jira, the data will be sent to Public Connect. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me just go to Public Connect and let me just click on this button, Capture Web Response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new work, new issue. So the name of the issue is this time, let's say, C programming error C programming error okay and in the description I'm just going to mention the while loop the while loop has failed okay so let me just click on create okay so this is uh, the issue the while the C programming error the while loop has failed so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look into public connect whether we have this data or not so let's have a look yes a new API response is showing that the data has been captured so let's have a look so let me just uh, search it okay so C programming error okay so this is the summary we got that and uh, it was something about while loop so I'm just searching okay so this is the description the while loop has failed so basically we are going to remind our team members about uh, this particular uh, issue in Jira in slack so to do that let me just take click on this plus button okay let me introduce one more action window one more window so this window is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as slack because we will be sending a message on slack that is why so in the action event how about we make it as uh, send channel message without image so this is the one we want okay send channel message without image so let me just click on connect with slack in the new credentials let me just click on connect with slack Okay, so now Public Connect is demanding access. So before I click on allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create and we are going to compose a message in Slack from the data that we have received from Jira via public link. So as you can see in the channel, it is showing um, many different channels that is present in my Slack account. So let me just take you to Slack. So these are all the channels that is present in my Slack account. So all the channels that is present here is being reflected here. This is because Slack is now integrated with public link. So what I'm going to do here is uh, what if the idea is that what if I create a new channel? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new channel. Okay, so the name of the channel is uh, Jira issues reminder. Okay, just a random name Jira issues reminder and let me just click on create. 
okay so we are going to add four people to this team and let me just click on done okay so we have added uh, four people to this team and the name of the channel is jira, jira issues reminder and what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on refresh so when i click on refresh i can expect to find this newly created uh, channel in the drop down so as you can see this is the channel jira issues reminder so as far as uh, the message type is concerned i'm keep trying to keep it as plain text okay we don't have any url so i'm just keeping it as plain text now coming to the message so the message would be something like this new issue created in jira okay and pair of uh, double colons and here we are going to type the summary the summary was a c programming error so this is the summary and we have mapped it and uh, again colon and um, the while loop while loop the while loop has failed okay so basically this is the message new issue created in jira c programming error the while loop has failed now coming to the bot name so this is the bot name this is my name basically so i am planning to send all these uh, issue related message in slack using my name okay and this is the port icon we don't have any urls for that i don't i'm, I'm not specifying any port icon so i'm just leaving it as blank so basically we have uh, so, uh, sorted out the channel that we will be sending the message that is jira issues reminder okay so this is the channel name jira issues reminder and the message type is plain text and this is the message the bot name is michael okay so what we're going to do here is we are just going to click on save and send test request to send the message on slack so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the message has been sent so let's have a look so as you can see this is the message new issue created in jira c programming error the while loop has failed so the presence of this message shows that we have successfully integrated jira and slack with help of public connect so before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm going to minimize the action window and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated jira to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to slack so now there's a perfect flow of data between jira and slack